Hey guys, this is going to be my last video for the couple, next couple of days because I have exams to study for. So I'm going to leave you guys off with a good note on electrophilic addition to HBr uh, to a 1,3 diene and converting it to a, uh, well not converting it, but doing the reaction and getting a 1,2 and 1,4 addition. Okay, so in this reaction we're going to do something similar to Markovnikov's rule. You guys should know about that. Um, if you've taken OCHEM 1, you should. I would be concerned if you didn't. But um, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and just remind you that the hydrogen will add on to the least substituted spot. And so basically uh, what will happen is these electrons will deprotonate this hydrogen and leave its electrons here uh, with a bromine. So we'll get this as our, uh, as our product from just from the deprotonation. Now, as you can see, you know, this one has two hydrogens on the end. This one now has... Oh, crud. What am I doing? That is totally wrong. Totally wrong. Um, the plus charge goes here. Sorry. Uh, that was anti-Markovnikov. <laughs> All right. So now this has the three hydrogens on it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that and then erase it. All right. So now... Um, what oh yeah I wanted to <laughs> remind you guys that the naming convention this is a 1,3 diene and you can tell that because the uh, the al uh, alkenes start on 1 and 3 so uh, we're gonna get a 1,2 and a 1,4 addition on this so basically 1,2 1,2 and then a 1,4 from this and I'll show you how we do that so we get over here and we have our carbocation and I'm sure you guys know of rearrangements, and that's what happens here on this on this particular molecule. Um, as you know, when you get carbocation rearrangements, uh, it's, oh crud, I'm still messing up here. Uh, you're going to get electron movement towards the positive charge, and what will happen is like it'll create. You want to create a more stable uh, molecule normally with car carbocation rearrangements but in this case you're gonna get um, both products in here so essentially yes we do get a more stable molecule but um, but we're still gonna get both products so okay um, and so uh, okay sorry <laughs> we still have this BR here with its negative charge and same story on the side. All right, and now uh, essentially we're gonna just add more plus to negative, opposites attract, sort of a thing. And um, holy cow, cannot draw. Sorry. <sighs> if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I am horrible at drawing. But um, that does not affect my ability to get some information across. Okay, and as you can see, um, basically you get a 1-2 product, the first carbon and the second carbon, and then you'll get a 1-4 product, the first carbon and the fourth carbon. And it's not, it's not talking about this specific naming convention on this side, it's talking about from what you started with. So it's like you add to the one spot and the four spot. So from like this molecule. So, um, so yeah, it's just a quick little example, nothing too spectacular, but um, it is pretty important um, in electrophilic addition. So uh, just make sure you understand that, and also the differences. Um, I'm not going to get into it in this video. Maybe after the tests on Wednesday, I might get into it, but. Uh, don't forget that the different like conjugated uh, what is it uh, conjugated can't remember the other ones darn it um, shoot the conjugated is the most reactive so you'll want to remember that and uh, can't remember there's isolated and then there's commute I can't remember the other one it's another C word but uh, we'll get into that later on. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions, just message me or post them on my wall, and I'd be happy to take them into consideration. You guys have a great day. Bye.